this is part two of the adoption of Israel and the Gentiles. And we're going to open up in I'm going to see if I want to go to Romans 15. Now go to Isaiah 56. Start in verse 1. The book of Isaiah, chapter 56, beginning at verse 1. Go ahead and read. Thus said the Lord, keep ye judgment and do justice, for my salvation is near to come and my righteousness to be revealed. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Blessed is the man that doeth this, and the son of man that layeth hold on it, that keepeth the Sabbath from polluting it, and keepeth his hand from doing any evil. Go ahead. Neither let the son of the stranger that have joined himself to the Lord, speak, saying, The Lord hath utterly separated me from his people. Neither let the eunuch say, Behold, I am a dry tree. For thus saith the Lord unto the eunuch, that keep my Sabbath, and choose the things that pleases me, and take hold of my covenant. Even unto them will I give my house, and within my walls a place, and a name better than the, than the sons and the daughters. I will give them an everlasting name that shall not be cut off. Go ahead and read. Also the sons of a stranger that joined themselves to the Lord to serve him and to love the name of the Lord to be his servant, everyone that keepeth the Sabbath from polluting and take a hold of my covenant. See, that's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to be there in that land shining and if the stranger came through and want to keep them Sabbaths and take a hold of that covenant and become part of Israel, become one in the land with Israel. This was the the stranger. Go ahead and read. Verse 7. Even then will I bring to my holy mount and make them joyful in my house of prayer. Their burnt offerings and their sacrifices shall be accepted upon my altar. For my house shall be called a house of prayer for all people. No, just for Israel. No, all people. All people. Go ahead and read. The Lord God which gathered the outcasts of Israel said, Yet would I gather others to him beside those that I gather unto him. Yes, sir. He got he gonna gather outcasts of Israel, but he's gonna gather others to him also. You've been outcast in the four corners of the earth we have, but he's gonna gather others also. Like it should have been done in the first place. Go to John chapter 10. Uh, the Gospel of John? Yes. It's in chapter 10. Chapter 10. The Gospel of John, chapter 10. Starting in verse 11. Beginning in verse 11. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. But he that is a hireling and not the shepherd, whose own the sheep are not, seeth the wolf coming and leaveth the sheep and fleeth, and the wolf catches them and scatter the sheep. Yes, sir. Go ahead and read. The hireling fleeth because he is a hireling and cares not for the sheep. I am the good shepherd and know my sheep, and I am known <clears> of mine. As the Father knoweth me, even so I know the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. For the sheep. That's Israel. But go ahead and read. And other sheep I have, which are not of this fold. Which are not of Israel. Go ahead. Them also I must bring, and they shall hear my voice. And there shall be one fold and one shepherd. Because when we can scrap to them, all of one. One fold, one shepherd. What verse was that? It was 16. Okay. Go to Romans 15 real quick. No, no, Isaiah 49. We'll come back to you. Isaiah 49. <clears throat> Isaiah 49. <clears throat> the book of Isaiah. Beginning at chapter 
49. We'll start in verse 1. Verse 1. Go ahead and read. Listen, <clears> O <throat> owls, unto me, and hearken, ye people from far. The Lord hath called me from the womb, from the bowels of my mother, as he mentioned of my name. He made mention of my name. He made mention, he said, Thou name shall be called Yahshua, while, while he was still in Mary's womb. Go ahead and read. <clears throat> Verse 2. And he hath made my mouth like a sharp sword. We're talking about the Messiah here. Go ahead. And the shadow of his hand hath he hid me, and made me a polished shaft, and his quiver hath he hid me. Go ahead. And said unto me, Thou art my servant, O Israel, in whom I will be. You call Messiah Israel. Because that's that's one of God's names, people. Israel. We took on his name when we got adopted. He gave us his name. He's talking to the Messiah about the Messiah here. Go ahead. Verse 4. Then I say, I have labored in vain. I have spent my strength for naught, and in vain. Yet surely my judgment is with the Lord, and my work with my God. Uh huh. And now saith the Lord that formed me from the womb to be his servant. Israel, that formed him from the womb. Yahshua, sure, that's what he's talking about, the Messiah there. Go ahead. To bring Jacob again to him. Though Israel be not gathered, yet shall I be glorious. And the eyes of the Lord and my God shall be my strength. Yes, so he was to bring Jacob again to him. Though Israel be not gathered, but he's going to bring him again to him. It's going to be glorious in the eyes of the Lord and my God shall be my strength. My Elohim. Verse 6, this is what he said. Verse 6. And he said, It is a light thing that thou shouldest be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob and to restore the preserve of Israel. He said, That's a light thing for you to do that. But I got something else I want you to do too. Reserve Israel is going to be scattered all over the place, and you're going to bring them in. The outcasts. Go ahead and read. I will also give thee for a light to the Gentiles, that thou mayest be my salvation to the end of the earth. There you go. But also he's going to be a light unto the rest of the nations, rest of the Gentiles and the nations, people. For their salvation. It's an easy thing for them to bring the, the, the children in. But what about the rest of them? Go to Acts chapter 13. The crazy thing to think that God is only, that's what the Pharisees did. Ain't no other, he or no other people. What is all these people on that face of earth? They just condemned to be to the lake of fire? Acts 13, 41. The book of Acts chapter 13, verse 41. Behold, he despises us and work wonders. And Paris, for I worked a work in your days, a work which ye shall no wise believe. Talking to, talk to Israel. Though a man declared unto you. And when the Jews were gone out of the synagogue, the Gentile besought that he word might be preached to them the next Sabbath. See, here the Gentiles is among the Jews. And he sought the word might be preached to them the next Sabbath. They were keeping the Sabbath day. But I'm not teaching on that today, but go ahead. Now, verse 43, now when the congregation was broken up, many of the Jews and religious proselytes followed Paul and Barnabas, who, speaking to them, persuaded them to continue in the grace of God. And the next seven, they came almost the whole city together to hear the word of, the, of God. But when the Jews saw the multitude, they were filled with envy and spake against those things which were spoken by Paul, contradicting and blaspheming. Right! Come and contradict the Bible, because always trying to Hinder Paul's ministry to the Gentiles. Go ahead. Then Paul and Barnabas waxed bold and said, It was necessary that the word of God should first have been spoken to you. Yeah, because Israel, you are the priest. It was necessary that you get you get this word of God. You get raised up. It was that was necessary. But go ahead. But seeing ye put it far from you and judge yourself unworthy of everlasting life, lo, we turn to the Gentiles. Yeah, and so they began turning. To the Gentiles. 
Just like it said in Isaiah. Go ahead and read. Verse 47. For, for so hath the Lord commanded us, saying, I have set thee to be a light of the Gentiles, that thou should shouldest be for salvation unto the ends of the earth. Yes, sir. So, unto the ends of the earth. Go ahead and read. The same with the quote of Isaiah. Go ahead and read. And when the Gentiles heard this, they were glad and glorified the word of the Lord, and as many as were ordained to eternal life believed. Because also, upon the Gentiles also, remember, was poured out the gift of the Holy Ghost. And this thing began spreading through the earth, people. Through Paul and Barnabas. It began, it started with with, with uh, 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 Peter. And then the Lord called Bar uh, uh, Barnabas down there to go get Paul. And Paul had the courage to go unto the Gentiles. That was the ministry the Lord had given him. To go preach to the uncircumcision, the Gentiles. Not of Israel, of the Gentile nation. All nations were uncircumcised except Israel before they became uncircumcised in their mind and their heart. So, because all nations served other gods. And, and the whole thing was for them to come through and hear about this God and become circumcised in their mind, un uncircumcised, cut off, and become circumcised in their heart and, and take hold of the covenant and be part of this people. So, Romans 15, verse 8. The book of Romans, chapter 15, beginning at verse 8. Go ahead and read. Now I say that Jesus Christ was a minister of the circumcision for the truth of God to confirm the promises made unto the Father. Uh -huh. And that the Gentiles might glorify God for his mercy as it is written. For this cause I will confess to thee among the Gentiles and sing unto thy name. Uh -huh. And again he said, Rejoice ye Gentiles with his people. Yeah, two different people. Rejoice ye Gentiles with his people. Go ahead. And again, praise the Lord all ye Gentiles and loud him all ye people. Yes, sir. And again, Isaiah said, There shall be a root of Jesse, and he that shall rise to reign over the Gentiles, and him shall the Gentiles trust. Yes, sir. Go down to verse uh, 26. Go ahead and read. Verse 26. For it hath pleased them of Macedonia and Achaia. Which one? Which one? Gentile churches. To make a certain contribution for the poor saints, which were which are at Jerusalem. That was, that was the, 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 uh, the Jews of Israel at Jerusalem. Out of, out of the tribes of Israel and Jews. Go ahead. It that pleased them verily, and their debtors they are. For if the Gentiles have been made partakers of their spiritual things. Whoa, Gentiles have been made because unto the, unto the Jews, unto Israel, was committed the covenant, the laws, its judgments, all those beautiful things were committed to them, the priesthood, so he said, if the Gentiles in my part, they may make partakers of those spiritual things, go ahead. Their duty is also to minister unto them in call of things. Because the Gentiles are the ones who are on earth, people. So it's their duty to minister unto them. Israel, the carnal mess that they get. They got all the money, they got all the wealth. That's how it should have been today. But these Gentile churches, they take it all up, build these great monuments, put the place, they get all over, ain't giving nothing to Israel. Even Israel will start copying at them and all, uh, bring it on themselves. Everybody's got 9, 10, 17, 20, 30,000 people in the congregation. Hard the money, airplanes, jets flying all around. See, this wasn't to be like that. It was your duty. Oh, church, to give to the poor of Israel and get your foot off their neck. Because the rest of the world, coming out of them, coming out of that world, you was going to change your mind and be not like the Gentiles. Look at Ephesians chapter uh, 4. <coughs> Go ahead. 
verse 17. The book of Ephesians, chapter 4, beginning at verse 17. Go ahead. This I say, therefore, and testify in the Lord, that ye henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk in the vanity of their mind. If we was a Gentile church, people. Go ahead. Having the understanding dark, being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them, because of the blindness of their heart. Go ahead. Who being past, feeling have given themselves over unto lasciviousness to work all uncleanness with greediness. Yeah. So, so you said, you don't, don't, don't walk like other Gentiles do in the valley of your mind. With all greediness, it's lasciviousness. I just want to show you that. Go to Romans chapter 11. The book of Romans, chapter 11. Verse 13. Verse 13. For I speak to you Gentiles, and as much as I am the apostle of the Gentiles, I magnify my own. He was an apostle to the uncircumcision, the Gentile. That was his office. Go ahead and read. If by any means I pro may provoke to immolation, them which are my flesh, and might save some of them. Yeah, immolation, provoke to jealousy. He said, he told them, I'm provoke you to jealousy with the foolish people back in, in, De in, uh, in Deuteronomy. A nation that you don't even know, we're going to serve other gods. Go ahead. For if the casting away of them be the reconciliation of the world, what shall the receiving of them be but life from the dead? He's talking about in your conscience. Life, because the receiving of them when they when they in, the, in these days when they when they get it back together, there's gonna be life from the dead for, for the other nations if they go out and do their job. Go ahead. Verse 15. For if the cast no, 16. verse 16, for if the first fruit be holy, the lump is also holy. And if the root be holy, so are the branches. Israel is the branch. Go ahead. And if some of the branches be broken off, and thou being a wild olive tree, talk about the Gentiles, were grafted in among them, and with them partakers of the root and fatness of the olive tree. Yeah, and so you're not you're not the branch, but you're the wild olive tree. So you get you getting in there. So he warned them. Go ahead. Eighteen. Boast not against the branches, but if thou boast, thou bearest not the root. But the root thee. Go ahead. Thou will say then, the branches were broken off that I might be grafted in. Well, because of unbelief, they were broken off, and thou standest in thy faith. Be not high minded, but fear. Uh huh. But if God spare not the natural branches, take heed lest he also spare not thee. Behold, therefore, the goodness in the Who's city. the natural branch? Israel. Go ahead. Behold, therefore, the goodness and severity of God on them which fail severity, but toward thee goodness, if thou continue the goodness, otherwise thou also shall be cut off. Go ahead. And they also, if they abide not still in unbelief, shall be grafted in, for God is able to graft them in. Both of them had to get grafted in. The, the ones who were outside the covenant, who got scattered, they got to be grafted in, and, and Gentiles had to be grafted in. See, so the ones who 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 have, who, who have been pro, 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 they have been proselytized to the, uh, uh, the the ones who have fallen away, but also among the Gentiles, both of them had to be grafted in. I had to be grafted in. I was the physical seed, but I had to be grafted back in because I thought I was a Gentile. I wasn't with my mind, but also the Gentiles. I done seen the JFAT and the rest of the nation have to get grafted in through Messiah, people. <laughs> He's the root. <clears throat> Go ahead. Verse 23. And they also, if they abide not still in unbelief, shall be grafted in, for God is able to graft them in again. For if thou were cut off the olive tree, which is wild by nature, and were grafted contrary to nature to a good olive tree, how much more shall these, which be the natural branches, be grafted into their own olive tree? Go ahead and read, brother. For I would not, brethren, that ye should be ignorant of this mystery, that ye should be wise in your own conceits, that blindness and partness happen to Israel until the fullness of the Gentiles become in. Yes, sir. So 
and part as it was blinded, and don't see this thing until the fullness of the Gentiles we come in. Because all the nations, sons, all the sons of Ham had a time to rule. Ham, Shem, and Japheth. It's Japheth's time to rule now. He's the father of the Gentiles. Ham had his time through Nimrod and the Egyptians. Shem had their time a little bit through, through Solomon and David. But now it's the Gentiles' time to rule. And, then, and when the fullness of it come up, that's why we're coming to the end of the Gentiles' time to rule. That's why you see so much calamity happening on earth. You see them running around scared. You see them trembling. You see what, the, what things are happening in the highest places. That's the Gentiles' time to rule coming to an end. If you think they're not ruling, who you, go try to get you, go try to hunt tomorrow when don't have a, a license and see who can come get you. You understand? So, just observers tell you that. Uh, let's go to Mark chapter 10. I mean, Matthew 10. The Gospel of Matthew chapter 10. Start in verse 1 and read. Begin at verse 1. And when he had called unto him, his twelve disciples, he gave them power against unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of disease. Okay, and he's going to send them out and go to verse 5 and 6 and read. Verse 5. These twelve Jesus sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, and into any city of the Samaritan enter ye not, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Wow. He separated them out from the lost sheep of the house of Israel, didn't he? He didn't call the Gentiles part of the lost sheep of the house of Israel. He separated them out. See? But he said, don't go in them. Just go to the lost. Because who? Because Israel, you are, you are the priest. So he got to raise up his priesthood. So he said, go out and teach the people. Now they were only to go to Israel at that time. Uh, go to Matthew 21. Gospel of Matthew, chapter 21. Start in verse 22. And read. I'm going to show you who you're talking to. Chapter 21, what verse? Matthew 21, verse, start in verse uh, 33. So he's talking to the Pharisees here. The Gospel of Matthew, chapter 21, beginning at verse 33. Go ahead. Hear another parable. There was a certain householder which planted a vineyard and hedged it round about, and digged a winepress in it, and built a tower, and laid it out to husbandmen, and went into a far country. And when the time of the Fruit drew near, he sent his servant to the husband, that they might receive the fruits of it. And the husband took his servant and beat one and killed another and stoned another. The servant of the household represented, represented the Lord, and, and, he, and he did the wine press in the tower, and he led out to the husband, and he went into a far country. He went back to sit back on the right hand of the father. Go ahead, and then he sent the servants to take care of it. Verse 36. Again, he sent a and they killed one of them, sent them back to the vineyard, which is the house of Israel. Go ahead. All right, what verse will we start at? 36. Verse 36. Again, he sent other servants more than the first, and they did unto them likewise. And last of all, he sent unto them his son, saying, They will reverence my son. But when they saw, when the husband saw the son, they said unto, among themselves, This is the heir. Come, let us kill him, and let us seize on his inheritance. Right, what verse you at? That was verse 38. 
Go to verse uh, 41 and 42 and read. Verse 41. Go to verse 40 and read. Verse 40. When the Lord therefore... So, wait on, no, let's read verse... Do we read verse 38? Yes, sir. Then killed the son, verse 40. So they caught him and cast him out of the and slew him also. Verse 40. Verse 40. When the Lord therefore of the vineyard cometh, what will he do unto those husbands? They say unto him, he will miserably destroy those wicked men and will let out his vineyard unto other husbands, which shall render him the fruits in their seed. Yeah, he going he to take away from them and give it to other ones. And that's what he did. He, 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 he changed the priest from, 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 from the Pharisees and then who were who are charged of the vineyard, he took it away from them. Go ahead and read. 42. Verse 2 to 2. Verse 42, Jesus said unto them, Did ye never read in the scriptures the stone which the builders rejected, the same as puffed to come, the head of the corner? This is the Lord doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. Yeah. Now, I don't go through all that right now, but he took it away from them. Look at John 19, verse 21. The Gospel of John, chapter 19. Beginning at verse 21. Then said the chief priests of the Jews to Pilate, Write not the king of the Jews, but he said, I am the king of the Jews. Right. The chief priests of who? The Jews. Yeah, it wasn't, wasn't no more. The chief priest of the Most High, no longer Yahweh's priest, not the chief priest of the Jews. He took it away from them. See, because they had stolen the vineyard. So now he got to raise up another priesthood. That's why I say, go to the law. See, he's raised up a whole other priesthood. He got to give it to another people to bring fruits unto them. Look at Matthew 28, the last chapter there. The Gospel of Matthew, chapter 28. Verse 18. Begin at verse 18. Go ahead. And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power was given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach. That word teach is, is to make disciples. Go ahead. All nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. To go make disciples out of all nations. Because he had to take the priesthood and give them to another. Because this was supposed to be done in the first place. But now, Jerusalem is so corrupted, the people are not going to come to Jerusalem. Now they got to go to them, and they're going to witness up the resurrection. But they're going to go, not just only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, but to all nations. That was hidden. Galatians 3. The book of Galatians, chapter 3. Verse 1. Verse 1. O foolish Galatians, who have bewitched you that ye should not obey the truth, before whose eye Jesus Christ has been evidently set forth, crucified among you. This is a, a Gentile church out of Japheth. Go ahead. This only what I learn of you receive ye the Spirit by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith. Are ye so foolish, having begun in the Spirit, are ye now made perfect by the flesh? Have ye suffered so many things in vain, if it be yet in vain? How did they hear it? By the, by, by, the, by the hearing of the word. The hearing of faith. That's how they receive the Spirit. Go ahead. Verse 5. He therefore that ministereth to you the Spirit and worketh miracles among you, doeth he by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith. Even as Abraham believed God, it was accounted to him for righteousness. Go ahead and read. Know ye therefore that ye, that which... That they know ye therefore that they which are of faith. Faith come by how? By hearing and hearing by the word of God. Go ahead and read. The same are the children of Abraham. In the scriptures, for seeing that God would justify the heathen through all faith, the nations. Preach before the gospel to Abraham, saying, Indeed, shall all nations be blessed. That's right. Because you had the spiritual seed and you had 
the physical seed. So all nations shall be blessed. Go ahead. So they and they which be of faith are blessed with faithful Abraham. Pick it up a little bit, bro. For as many as are of the works of the law are under the curse. Yes, yeah, under the curse because you can't get them under, under the curse if you're doing the works of the law. That's, the, that's that sacrificial part. Go down to verse uh, 13 and read. Verse 13, Christ had redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us, for it is written, curses is every one that hang on the tree. Go ahead. That the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentile through Jesus Christ, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Whoa. Uh, so, what verse we have now? Verse 14. Okay, go ahead. That the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentile through Jesus Christ, that we might receive the promise of spirit of the Spirit through him. Okay. Go to verse 15 and 16 and read. Verse 15. Brethren, I speak after the manner of men, though it be but a man's covenant, yet if it be confirmed, no man disannulleth or addeth thereto. Just read verse 16. Now to Abraham and to his seed were the promises made. He said, not unto seeds as a many, but as of one, and to that seed which is Christ. That was the seed that was going to bless all nations. Verse 26, read. For ye are all the children of God by faith in Jesus Christ, right. Christ Jesus. All by children of God. Go ahead. For as many of you as have been baptized into Christ have put on Christ. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free. There is neither male nor female. For ye are all one in Christ Jesus. And if ye be Christ, then are ye Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. Christ came and died for all of man's seed. Romans 16, 25. We're going to take a look at this mystery. We have some short verses here. Romans 16, verse 25. The book of Romans, chapter 16, beginning at verse 25. Now to him that is a power to establish you according to my gospel and the preaching of Jesus Christ according to the revelation of the mystery, which was kept secret since the world began. Whoa, was kept secret since how long? Since the world since began. Since the world began. Go ahead. But now it's made manifested by the scriptures of the prophets according to the commandments of the everlasting God made known to all nations for the obedience of faith. Yeah, because the secret of all nations is going to be part of this for obedience to the faith. Look at 1 Corinthians chapter 2. That was a mystery. Because Israel thinks it's just for us. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 2. Verse 6. Begin at verse 6. Even as the testimony of Christ was confirmed in you, so that ye come behind. Oh, well, are you 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 6? Chapter one. The book of First Corinthians, chapter two, verse six. How be it we speak wisdom among them that are perfect? That's mature or fully initiated. Yet not the wisdom of this world, nor of the promise of this world. No, no, the princes of this world. Nor of the princes of this world that come to know. But we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery, even the hidden wisdom. Which God ordained before the world unto our glory. Uh huh. Which none of the princes of this world knew. For had they known it, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. Right. If they had known it, they would not have killed him. If they know, if, when, when, when the Lord died and was going to raise from there, that all the earth was going to be blessed. They would never have killed him. Go ahead and read. Verse 9. But as it is written, I have not seen nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God had prepared for them that love him. Because I hadn't seen it. This thing was here in God. Look at Ephesians chapter 3. Book of East Vision, chapter 3. Verse 1. Beginning at verse 1. For this cause I, Paul, the prisoner of Jesus Christ, for you Gentiles. The sons of Japheth, go ahead. If ye have heard of the dispensation of the grace of God which is given me to you, Lord, how that by revelation he made known unto me the mystery, 
As I wrote a four and four, if you were. We will read the Bible, go ahead. Whereby when ye read, ye may understand my knowledge in the mystery of Christ. Of Messiah, go ahead. Which in other ages was not made known unto the sons of men. Yeah, which in other ages was not what? Made known unto the sons of men. Go ahead. As it is now revealed unto his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit. Here it is, go ahead. That the Gentiles should be fellow heirs and of the same body and partakers of his promise in Christ by the gospel. Yes, sir. That's it. That the Gentiles, the other nations, should be fellow heirs and of the same body and partake of his promise of Messiah by the gospel. The same gospel that Abraham preached. Fellow heirs of the same body. Go ahead and read. Verse 7. Wherefore I was made a minister according to the gift of the grace of God given unto me by the effectual working of his power. That's what Paul was called to do. Go ahead. Unto uh, me, who am less than the least of all saints, is the grace given that I should preach among the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ. Because they didn't have any, any way of finding this out. They didn't have the scriptures. They didn't have the law. They didn't have the cup. So they couldn't search this out. Verse 9, go ahead. And to make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery which from the beginning of the world has been hid in God, who created all things by Jesus Christ. That's it. See, it was hidden all because God had called a people who was to make known his will to the world. Concerning his covenants, laws, and statutes. And they would be, they would come in. But they never got the understanding. They never stayed put long enough for Messiah to come and to finish teaching them. So, this thing's been hid. And, but it's been revealed unto the apostles and prophets who went out to the Gentiles and the rest of the nations. So, let me go to verse, Ephesians 3, verse 11 through 15. Not yet. Go ahead. Verse 11, according to the eternal purpose which he purposed in Christ Jesus our Lord, and whom we have boldness and access with confidence by the faith of him. Wherefore I desire that ye faint not at my tribulation for you, which is in your glory. Go ahead. Which is your glory. For this cause I bow my knees unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh-huh. Of whom the whole family in heaven and in earth is named. Wait a minute, the whole family of Israel is named. The whole family of just Israel is named. No. In heaven and in earth, man. God's got a great big old family. He got a heavenly family. He got an earthly family. His children is ever. Everybody who comes to this covenant. Is that verse 15? Okay. Yes. Colossians chapter 1. I find that mind can't take in all the whip and the breath and the depth of his understanding, his way. A past find it out. We better let God speak to us. And not man. The book of Colossians, chapter 1. Verse 21. Talking verse. to the Gentiles. Colossians, another Gentile church out of Japheth. Go ahead. Verse 21. Of the lineage. And you that were sometimes alienated and enemies in your mind by wicked works, yet now hath he reconciled. Because they had no law in their mind. Go ahead. In the body of his flesh through death to present you holy and unblameable and unprovable in his sight. If you continue in the faith grounded in self and be not moved away from the hope of the gospel which ye have heard and which was preached to every creature which is under heaven. No, only preached to Israel. Preached to who? Every who is that, does that him. limit anybody, brother? Does that limit anybody? No. Sister? Every creature, right? Whereof I, Paul, am made a minister. 
Uh huh. Who now rejoice in my suffering for you, and feel up that which is behind of the affliction of Christ in my flesh of His body, for His body's sake, which is the church. Wherefore I made a minister according to the dispensation of God, which is given to me, you Gentiles, for you, because Paul was apostle to the Gentiles to fulfill the word of God, even the mystery which have been hid from ages and from generations, but now is made manifest to his saints, you Gentiles, you are his saints also, to whom God would make known what is the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you, Christ in you, Christ in you, the hope of glory. Among the Gentiles also is Messiah people, He's among them, those who have particularly been coming. They shall have a name even better than sons of them if they don't do, if they don't get grafted back in. He said you're gonna come from the east and the west and the north, and you're gonna see Abraham and all, all the prophets there, but you yourselves shut out. First Timothy chapter three. Got two more verses. The book of 1 Timothy, chapter 3, verse 1. Begin at verse 1. This is a true saying. If a man desire the office of a bishop, he desire the good work. No, yeah, that's good too. Uh -huh. A bishop then must be blameless, the husband of one wife, diligent, sober, of good behavior, given to hospitality, apt to teach. Go on verse 6 and read. Verse 6. Not a novice. Let's be lifted up with pride. He fall into the condemnation of the devil. Go ahead. Moreover, he must have a good report of them which are without, lest he fall into reproach and snare of the devil. Go to verse 9 and read. Holding the mystery of the faith in a pure conscience. If you're going to be a true minister of God, you've got to understand the mystery. Right? If you're going to live it, then now you have another God in your imagination. Because you're not holding this your faith in your conscience, your pure conscience. It's all people. You were commissioned to go out and make disciples of all nations, not just Israel. That was when he was raising up his priesthood, because we are his priests. But God is no respected person. Make, make sure you know that. Our God is a loving God. I know we want something, but we can't go claim something that we don't have. He told you he's going to raise him up to provoke us to jealousy. And then when we get into the kingdom, then all the riches of the Gentiles going to come to us. Well, we ain't got no riches. Now. If we were the Gentiles, where's our riches at? Why we got to wait to get the kingdom to get our riches if we already got them? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What the, how, how, wait a minute. That don't make no sense. If we're going to get the kingdom and then the riches of the Gentiles going to come in, then who got them now? Because <laughs> we sure don't. The Gentiles got them. That's who was given to them. They got the common things. We got the spiritual. They don't want to hear we got the spiritual. We don't want to hear they got part of the kingdom. It's the same thing. Ephesians chapter 1. The book of Ephesians chapter 1. Verse 3. Begin at verse 3. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who have blessed us with all spiritual blessings and heavenly places in Christ. This is the spiritual blessings. Go ahead. According as he hath chosen us in him. The Talk to the Ephesian church and all those who are part of this covenant. According as he hath chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him. From before love. the foundation of Israel, go ahead. That we should be holy and without blame before him in love. Having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to himself. Not by Abraham. This is by Jesus Christ. This is that spiritual adoption, people. That the Gentiles got blessed with. See? Finish reading. 
to the, verse 6, to the praise of the glory of his grace, wherein he hath made us accepted in the beloved. That's where we got accepted in him. All of us. Go ahead. Verse 9. Have no, made no, in whom? Verse 7. Okay. Verse 7. In whom we have redemption through his blood and the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of grace, wherein he have a abounded toward us in all wisdom and prudence, having made known unto us the mystery of his will according to his good pleasure, which he hath purposed in himself. That the dispensation of the fullness of time he might gather together in one all things in Christ Jesus, both which are in heaven and which are on earth, in whom also we have obtained inheritance, being predestinated according to the purpose of him who worketh all things after the counsel of his own will, that we should be to the praise of his glory. Who first trusted the Messiah, in whom you also trusted you Gentiles, after you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also after you believed you were sealed <coughs> with that Holy Spirit of promise, which is the token of our inheritance unto redemption. That is the token of your inheritance. It's the Holy Spirit, people. And also upon the Gentiles were poured out the gift of the Holy Ghost. But they heard them speak with tongues and magnified God. The redemption of the purchase possession to the praise of his glory. Verse 17. That the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. The eyes of your understanding be enlightened, that you may know what is the hope of his calling and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. Praise God, the most high God. Let all... Those who have breath, praise the God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.